Okay, so in this question here, again, we're given a diagram. If you look at that diagram, it looks like a symmetric distribution. So we know we have to use empirical rule. In this question, we're not given the mean and standard deviation. So that is the first two things we need to figure out from our diagram. If you're trying to find the mean, it's just the midpoint of the upper limit and the lower limit. Okay, once we need find our mean, we need to find our standard deviation. You know that the mean is in the center, and we know that three standard deviations all the way at our upper limit. So we can do three standard deviations is equal to our upper limit minus mean. Okay, once we find our mean and once we find our standard deviation, again, the question gets pretty simple at this point. Okay, we know that going to have a lower limit and upper limit for these questions. For the A part it's just